Hey guys, it's Fia, back again with another Twitch VOD. This one is from the 25th of March. It was my first stream back after my final dental surgery, so it's a bit of a short one. Uh, hopefully you enjoy it though, regardless. Uh, you can catch us live over at twitch.tv forward slash Fiamma. And if you tack on slash schedule to the, the end of that URL, you'll get my schedule converted to your time zone. Super and awesomely convenient. Uh, if you wouldn't mind dropping me a follow over on the Instagram if you're feeling generous, or on Twitter, Facebook, or TikTok, you can do all of that down in the description box. I hope you enjoy the VOD, and I hope that I'll see you in chat next time. Hello. Hi. It is me. I am back. Um, I probably shouldn't be here, but I am because, because I said I would be, and I really want to do the storyline. And um, yeah, so I thought I'd give you all an update before we dive in to like the story and stuff. I've been told it's a really short chapter, so we'll, we'll see how we go. Uh, <laughs> I would very much like to survive. I'm, I feel like shit. <laughs> I feel like trash. I look like trash. I'm just overall, the whole look, I'm, I'm struggling. But it has been, it has been a while. Oh my God, Hi, Rump. the sun well. <laughs> what the hell, Rump? <laughs> what the hell? 20 gifted Hi, subs. Sun well. Good lord. If I was hydrated enough, I'd probably cry. Hi, the sun. <laughs> but I'm also just in so much pain, and so I don't really have much left. But thank you so much, Rump. That is so kind of you. So sweet of you. Hi, the sun. Well. Good lord. Lord. Um. Hello, Josh. Hello, Chaos. I feel like trash. How are you? Um, and Keggy with first, enjoy Hi, your work. Well. Enjoy your work. Um, hello, Draz. Fuck, what is. What is Stay! Hi, the sun well. My god. Oh, I haven't turned captions on. Oh my god. I'm terrible. Stang, thank you so much for the 10 gifted subs. Good god. Hi, the sun well. <laughs> good, good god. Oh my god. My lord, what I what Hi the Sun well and congratulations to everyone who got hit by the sun bombs. Well done. Uh hello Draz and well done on 69th and fairy you are indeed also Hi, the sun means well. everything. Hello naughty. She lives just just gasp of fear I would gasp, but it will hurt. Hi, the like sun razor well. blades, so I'm not gonna. But it is me, Shiba. I'm alive. Alive, barely. But alive. Hi, the alive. sun. That's what matters. Well. Thank you, Naughty. I'm glad I feel. I'm glad I look alive. I have put some makeup on. Not much. Just like I did my brows, and I did some eyeliner, and I've got mascara on. Hi, the sun. And I have well. lipstick on. That's it. Because I cannot. I cannot. Well done, Yori, on last. Hi, the oh, sun well. oh, I could. Oh, I could. Do not challenge me. I, I, no, I'm kidding. Um, no, I, I, I definitely can, and I have, I have honestly. Hi, the sun well. Um, I, I took a shower last night. Um, oh my god, you, really, you guys? A bloody hype train, meaty. Thank you so much for Hi, your the resub. Sun well. Thank you so much, and good. Lord, you lot. Oh my god. I don't deserve Hi, you guys. The sun well. I don't deserve you guys. I'm. Oh my god, I'm gonna actually cry. Um. God, the last few days have just been so fucking emotional. Um. Hi, the sun. Right, well. I should probably start, like, telling you about that. Alive is good. Alive is good. Alive is step one. Alive is step one. I still got hit by sub bomb. Indeed. Finally managed to. Hi, the sun. Well. 
awful side problems. Yeah, look, I will. I will go over every. I was trying to like, do I do good news and or bad news or like, how do I, I do this? Sunlight. I just thought, screw it. I might as well just go through it like chronologically as best I can, as best I can remember, because that's. Yeah, I think that's just going to be the easiest way. Hi, the um, sun well. Hi, train. Yeah, I know. Is it is fair dupe. It is. It was a massive hug. I've been getting lots of massive hugs from Jess. Hi, the lots sun and well. lots of massive hugs. He got home from he got home from work yesterday, and I was just, I was a miserable pile of poop. Like I just I felt like so he just kind of sun well. aggressively hugged well gently but aggressively hugged me and it made me feel a whole lot better. We watched a really stupid, ridiculous movie and I just Hi, I felt a lot better. Well. Um, uh, for those of you who were, it was Six Underground. Six Underground, the number six, Underground. Brian Reynolds movie, Hi, Michael Bay movie. Well. Terrible. Fantastic. Yep. So, um... <laughs> Highly recommend if you have a feeling like shit day and you want a bit of a giggle. It, there's some misogynistic bullshit in there. There's some really sexist jokes. There's some all sorts of horrible stuff. There's ridiculous car crashes that involve fireworks because it's Michael fucking Hi, Bay. Um, but like it, it was ridiculous and silly, and it, it was what I needed. So, <laughs> yep. Um, Hi, the sun well. Can you knit yourself? It is. This is. This. I'm. For those of you who are relatively new here, it's been a really long time Hi, since I made well. this. I realized. Um. But I actually made this cardigan. It's. It's long. It kind of goes down to like. They go. That's the edge, and it's like ribbed, so it's like super stretchy. Hi, the and the well. one. Do two. Um, so, and it's like this whole thing like folds over and stuff. I actually made this part of myself. Sun well. I bought the pattern like a decade ago. And then finally, like I think it was last year at some point, maybe the year before, I was like, no, it would have been, Jesus, it's Hi, over a year ago well. now. Like well over a year ago now. Jesus. I was like, no, nah, I'm going to finish this. And so I did. I pulled it out and I knitted, knitted, knitted and, and, and finished. Um, sun so yeah, I was feeling a little bit chilly, but it's, I'm at this weird point with my temperature. I don't have a fever or anything, like, that's fine, but, um, if, if I'm, Hi, the sun if I've got the aircon on, I'm too cold, no matter what temperature I set it to, I'm cold, but if I have it off, I'm way too warm, but if I turn the aircon on and put a jacket on, I'm just the right temp, it's, f I'm so frustrated with my body right now, <laughs> so frustrated, um, what happened? Surgery and side effects and all sorts of fun. NC with the resub. 31 months. Good lord. Thank you so much for the resub. Uh, maybe so silly but great. It really, it really was. I, I appreciate it. It filled a need. It filled a need. Ah, uh, you know, welcome back. Thank you, Fairy. Enjoy your lurk. I've <laughs> seen it. The pockets is yes. And chaos with the prime gaming sub for six months. Enjoy your new sub badge. Showing an absolute model. Return of the kill. You said you could have sugary. Um, no one, but I ate marshmallows anyway. Um, I actually, I um, I finished my bag of marshmallows on day one, and I had the empty packet sitting just here on my desk with, like, all. I'm just trying to make sure I don't dox myself. But like my my pharmacy worth of that's that's too, like my pharmacy worth of shit um, here because it was not at the bed and I was not gonna because they've got very limited space on my bedside table so this was like I only needed to get up three times a day to get pills. Yep. Um. <clears throat> so surgery was Monday. As far as I'm aware, surgery went really well. Um, I got a four, level four hyperchain emote. Thank you so much. Also, um, to anyone who I have um, directed to watch the start of the VOD, I do apologize for not telling you this entire story when you came in and said, how am I? Um, but I don't have the throat to, to tell the whole story over and over again. So likely my answer is going to be short, you know, short answer. I'm okay-ish. Long answer, please watch the start of the VOD. So what are we at? We're at 13 minutes in. Okay, so 13. That's a pretty easy one to remember. Um, I can direct people in if they want the whole story. <coughs> <coughs> oh no, why is there a fluff in my drink? That's fine. Take it. 
fuck up. Water hurts. That's how good I am right now. So, um, as far as I'm aware, surgery went well. Um, I didn't have any weird side effects day of or anything like that. I was very tired, came home, took my antibiotics, took my painkillers, all that kind of fun stuff. Um, had a bit of a nap on the couch and then I was fine. Like literally by that night, I was getting bored of sitting on the couch doing nothing. Um, I wasn't able to like drift in and out of consciousness like I did last time. Um, my body just wasn't as exhausted. So I was like, oh, this is good. Um, so I actually managed to get up and play a bit of WoW uh, on Monday, but it was like half an hour to 45 minutes and then I'd kind of lie down for a bit and then like another half an hour or so and then I'd lie down a bit. So it wasn't like I was never going to be able to stream. Um, but, and I was high on painkillers, good lord. Um, they messed me up, but, um, uh, yeah, so I, I, I was never gonna be able to do that. Um, but I was, I was doing well. I was doing really well. <clears throat> um, and Jas got Ed Sheeran tickets. Um, he was late to pick me up from the hospital because he pulled over to the side of the road to buy the Ed Sheeran tickets. <laughs> I was really shitty with him until because I was sitting there for like an hour in the recovery room like where the fuck is Jazz and then he's like I had to pull over to buy tickets so I didn't get a ticket ticket I'm like oh okay that's fine so he got tickets um and then uh later on on Monday night I realized I think it was on Monday the last few days are a little bit wonky um I realized that PAX tickets had gone on sale for early bird PAX Oz tickets I don't know if you guys saw that I would have posted it in discord if I had thought properly but I didn't clearly um so early bird tickets went on sale so I have two three-day passes uh one for me and one for Jess um so I bought those also uh, oh no um my pop socket broke like epically broke um you know what a pop socket does it kind of pops out and it does like this kind of except that this one has split entirely, like completely through the, yep. So, um, rip pop socket. Um, so in, it's been split for a while and it had trouble staying out, but then it completely tore open and the disc came out. So that makes me sad. That's from the last pack I went to, so that was 2019. Um, so it's lasted a while. Um, so then I spent entirely too long on Tuesday on Amazon browsing pop sockets to add to throne so that was entertaining and tuesday i was pretty okay as well um bit bit dazed um started getting a bit of pain uh was a bit swollen this is this is the side that it's on and it kind of started going Ooh. um so i popped some neurofin to take the the swelling down but um overall i was doing okay and i'm like hey you know surgeon wasn't lying this is this is pretty breezy in terms of recovery uh then wednesday happened and i started feeling a little rough I was having trouble getting out of bed. Not like as in like I was wobbly or anything. I was just, it was really hard to drag my ass out of bed. Um, and I, so I spent most of Wednesday in bed, drifting again in and out of consciousness, just sort of browsing Reddit. It was really hard to hold a phone above you when like there's a sharp edge of a split pop socket cutting into your hand, just by the way. Um, so, <laughs> so I spent most of Wednesday doing that and I'm like, God damn it. Um, there's a Twitch event on Thursday that I'm meant to be attending and I'm not going to be able to go if I feel like crap. Um, and then I woke up on Thursday and couldn't speak. And I was like, oh, good. Hi, the sun well. And yo, bananas in what? Bananas in popsicles, icy poles. Icy poles, frozen treats that are sweet and tasty. They're delicious, really, really good. I've got um, I've got some ice blocks in the freezer that are almond milk, cocoa, and banana, and they are the most, and then no added sugar at all. Like they're just the most delicious things I've had. And they're so soothing, so soothing. Um, yeah, so Thursday I woke up and I'm like, oh, I can't attend this. It did say that we didn't have to have our cameras on, but it was encouraged. And I'm like, I'm not gonna be able to be upright. 
so I wasn't, I didn't attend. I jumped into the, the Twitch Discord and was like, I know this thing is happening today. I've seen people talking about recordings that are gonna be emailed to us. I'm gonna have to make use of, cause it's some um, panels, not panels, but like lectures almost, like online lectures. Um, there was networking opportunities and stuff like that, which I missed out on, which I'm really kind of upset about, but you know, health comes first. Uh, but there was, so there's a whole bunch of um, like, learning about how to be a better Twitch person uh, and how to approach sponsors and how to do all that kind of stuff. So I'm really looking forward to getting the links to that so I can watch those and stuff. Um, and I took uh, painkillers, strong ones, um, and passed out, but I woke up somewhere in the middle of the night and it felt like I had swallowed a handful of razor blades. Like I was like, this is, this is not right. This is, this is how it felt before. Remember how like just recently I had that throat infection right before the floods happened. I had the throat inflection, the throat inflection. Um, and I had to take antibiotics. Well, I'm on like, this is, this is my last antibiotic. That one pill that's left. I've got to take that tonight. And I'm like, but this is, do I need more? Am I concerned? So I grabbed my phone and I'm not sure if you guys have ever, like if you've had a sore throat and you've inspected, like you turn the light on the back of your phone and kind of eh, and, and shine it into the back of your throat to see what's going on in there. I have ulcers all over uh, the back of my throat, my soft palate, not on my tonsils, thankfully. So if you look in your mouth, you can see your tonsils. They kind of look all lumpy and brainy and weird. And they sit behind these two flaps of relatively flat skin or membrane or whatever you want to call them. That bit there's your soft palate. And then you've got the dangly bit, which is the uvula. It's so much fun to say. Um, so my soft palate there, covered in both of both sides, covered in ulcers. Um, and I've got a couple on my uvula and then a couple on the roof of my mouth as well. But nothing on my tonsils, which I'm a-okay about. Um, so <clears throat> took some photos, sent them to the surgeon. Um, surgeon said they're not infectious. Those are not ones that are caused by bacteria. So there is no chance of them spreading to the surgery site. That was what the big concern was, that if it's a bacterial infection and that bacteria gets into my literal open healing wound from surgery, that it could fuck up my jaw and I could lose part of my jaw through infection. Um, something that I haven't spoken about on the stream because I haven't been comfortable doing so. Um, so I'm not gonna answer too many questions about it because I don't really want to. Um, but uh, you, most of you will know that I have an autoimmune condition and that a while back I was on medication, like immune suppressing drugs um, that, you know, helped with the infection and kept my, oh, Barry, love. Thank you so much for the cheer. Spreading free bitty love, yay for free bitties. Thank you so much for the cheer. Oh, thank you so, so much. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm sorry. I'm just... Oh, you guys are overwhelming me and just amazing. And thank you so much. Um, right. So uh, I was off my meds for my autoimmune condition for like 18 months. Um, but I'm back on them as of last November. Uh, I have not said anything because frankly... It's nobody's business except mine and my medical professionals. <laughs> and I didn't really want to talk about it because I was having trouble dealing with it myself. Um, so my symptoms recurred. My, my autoimmune symptoms all came rushing back uh, right before surgery, right before the first surgery. Um, and so I, I got back on the meds after I'd recovered from that surgery, which sucks. Uh, which makes me extremely susceptible to bacterial infections. So if this that I have now, what the reason it was potentially such a big deal is because if it was bacterial ulcers in my throat and I'm on these meds and I have a fresh wound like two centimeters away from where the ulcers are, um, it could have been exceptionally dangerous, like admission to hospital pumped full of antibiotics or that kind of like really, really dangerous like type stuff. Um, so that was why I made that post in Discord this morning, just to let people know that there may or may not be a stream today. Uh, because I didn't know at that point um, whether I was okay or not. I, I had no idea. Uh, but I am. It's They're non-bacterial, non, they're non um, but that does not mean that they do not hurt like fuck. <laughs> <clears throat> drinking water hurts. Drinking 
water that has gone through the Brita filter we have in the in the fridge at the moment, drinking cold, filtered water stings. Yeah, so I've been um I've been gargling with Savicol, I've been sucking on strepsils, I've been popping Nurofen, and I've been getting cotton tips with Bongella. If you guys if you guys have had kids or you know had ulcers when you were kids or whatever, um, you might remember that like aniseed flavored gel that would yeah. So I've been getting that on a cotton tip and like reaching it down the back of my throat to apply. Oh, I hate my life right now. <laughs> it's really terrible. Really, really terrible. Um, so on the extremely strong painkillers I was on last night so I could try to get some sleep, I woke up dazed and confused at like three or four this morning and my phone was lit up and I reached over to my phone and I'm looking at it and I have an email from Twitch Tour, which is the thing that I missed yesterday. It said, hi Fiyama, reaching out regarding the AK Racing chair you have won. Please send us your mailing address. And I was like, I am high. So I put my phone back down and I went back to sleep. Turns out I want a chair. <laughs> so chair, chair baby is getting an upgrade. And so I can't tell if the universe hates me or loves me at the moment, because it's just throwing all the bloody curveballs all over the place and Barry, Wonderful berry won a set of lights as well, so it's like one wanna like a set of yep yep. So it's all just been <laughs> good. I I just I hurt so much that I I don't I. Yep, so I'm, uh, so I'm, I'm, hello, welcome back to streams. <laughs> I'm not going to be here for six hours today because I'm already dying. Uh, but we're going to do some of this. Oh. Excuse me. There we go. We're going to do some of this because I want to. <clears throat> Oh, where are we? Okay. Choo-choo, indeed. Water is trying to be considerate by being extra soft for it as well. John Jess, I know, right? Yeah, I was very happy with him. Uh, I had a living relationship with elaborated. May I ask what surgery you had? Dental implant. Uh, surgery, yes, Monday. Some extra teeth put in? No, I had my first step in... So I've decided that this is my first step in... Well, second step, technically. Uh, in becoming a vampire. Um, because, <clears throat> like, we don't really, like, we don't really know that much about, like, we know some things about vampires. We don't know, like, everything, right? So, um, I currently have, so the first surgery I had back in October was to take out a dead tooth and put a bone graft in. The bone graft healed great, so this one, this surgery was to put an implant in. And it's titanium. It's metal. So when I, like, check myself out in the mirror... There's this like metal disc just kind of sitting with like a hole, like a screw hole in the middle of it, just kind of sitting on top of my gum and like stitches everywhere. Um, <clears throat> that'll all get hidden when the crown goes on, right? But it's it's titanium. So I have, I have a hunk of titanium in my jaw. So that's step one in becoming a cyborg. And cyborgs are technically immortal because like they're, they're robots. So what I now need to do clearly is like the rest of my body needs to follow suit. Maybe starting with the bung knee um, and and then I will be immortal and I can get my teeth sharpened and then I'm basically a vampire anyway. So that's what we're doing. Six, extra 14 or so. Yep. Yeah. Two layers like a shark. She stole some teeth. Yep. Yeah. Who's here? Titanium installed. Exactly. Um, imagining something else. Lily bananas and icy balls. Ooh. It'd have to be a milk-based icy pole. It couldn't be like an I like a, a. But I know what you mean. That would be strange. But you could do it. I reckon you could do it with milk-based ones. Do our tonsil talk? Indeed, indeed. Fee is vulnerable. Very haha. Funny eggs number. Exactly, exactly. And this is why I appreciate very. Take the edge off those those like rough moments. 
Uh, does Jess count as a bacterial infection? Potentially. We'll have to ask him when he gets home. <clears throat> Essentially, you're a medical marvel. <laughs> Wouldn't go that far. <clears throat> Make sure you could weaponize them. I could. I could. Unfortunately, I'm uh, not evil. It's just a pest. Oh. Well, happy healing vibes. Thank you, Zika. Thank you. Yeah, look, it has not stopped. It, it literally, it literally has not fucking stopped. And I'm sick of it. I'm so over it. Yeah, chair, you're just trying to balance the good and the bad. Look, I bet, yeah, but it's like swinging too far in the d Just, can we just kind of keep it somewhere near the middle? For God's sake, just, just, just for like a month, please. <laughs> you should step, thank you. Thank you. Um, oh, redemptions. Redemptions might be a bit funky today. I might have to refund some stuff, um, just because I'm not going to be here for like, here for a good stream, not for a long stream. Um, and I, I do not know how long I'm going to last. <clears throat> um, oh, meaty. I'm so sorry to hear that. That sucks. You know, it doesn't exist if you have a vocabulary. I would really like for it to. She's like, in all the dark. I'm happy for you. Yeah, like, we still have chair. It will still be chair. It's just. No, I'm getting upgrades. Chair's getting upgrades. It's fine. Wrong hearts. I mean, is, is Bacon Heart ever wrong, dupe? Is Bacon Heart ever wrong? Dislike garlic? No, that's that's re that's just a good PR, Kaz. That's really good PR. Um, garlic's an anticoagulant. Um, so if you eat like a ton, a ton, a ton of garlic, and then a vampire bites you, you're not your blood isn't going to coagulate. It'll keep flowing freely for longer before it starts to clot. So the garlic being bad, the good protection against vampires thing is literally really, really, really good PR. Um, they've got a fantastic PR department there. Um. Awesome guessing game, yeah, pretty much, eh? Pretty much, he's gonna be setting off metal detectors. Not true, not true. Did you know the reason that they use titanium? Firstly, because it doesn't set off, like the metal detectors that we have are designed not to set off uh, by, with, by titanium. Um, but also the, the big reason that they use titanium is because your other body parts, like muscles and bones and all that kind of stuff, actually essentially fuse with the titanium. Like you don't have to glue the titanium into the bone or anything. You just kind of put it in there with enough, like like if you if you make the hole small enough and you screw it in there, as the bone heals, it literally fuses with the titanium and it becomes an actual part a biological part of your body. It doesn't have like nerves or, or blood vessels or anything like that, but it becomes as much a part of your body as any other cell. How freaking cool is that? How freaking cool is that? So, so there's no, you don't need to take like anti-rejection meds or anything like that because it's literally a part of you. How amazing is that? How amazing is that? I'm just gonna be streaming today. Yes. We will be skipping stream raiders today. Apologies to anyone who's here purely for, for stream raiders. There won't be any of that today. So things are evil. Hot bit evil. Look, we'll maybe something, something from the inside. I don't know, we'll figure it out. It's a really good for your immune system. It is. It is. A bunch of garlic and bite a vampire. Unconfirmed. Let us know how it goes. Am I right? Yes, they're, they're non-magnetic. Titanium is not magnetic, so it won't rip it out of my face if I need to get an MRI, which is great. I don't want things being ripped out of my face. So some vampires letting with fear. I know. How cool is that, though? The normal bone, definitely not metal. Shoot you down, but you won't fall. You are titanium. <laughs> Get away from this. Titanium weapons make it through metal detectors. Yes, they do. They're also ridiculously expensive, and I'm not sure... I'm not sure titanium would... Uh, would um, survive um, like a gunpowder blast. That's I'm not. You'd have to look into that part because I it like it's either it doesn't have the tensile strength to kind of keep the explosion contained so that the bullet can fly out in the appropriate direction, or it's like really brittle and it shatters. It, like I mean, obviously I'm not going to have an explosion in my face, so it's fine to use for this kind of thing. Um, but. There's, there's some reason why, apart from the expense, I was fairly sure there was some reason why they don't make titanium weapons. 
Um, but I could be wrong on that. I don't know a ton about um, weaponry and stuff like that. That's not one of my areas of thingy. Um, Jas might be able to tell you, but um, he's got a whole lot of like military knowledge and stuff like that, which is amazing. Um, but yeah, I don't know. At least doing everything almost like I'm getting there. I'm getting, I just hurt. I hurt so bad. Not a good <laughs> Oh, I want to hug you. I don't remember what your last comment was in here. It's all good. <laughs> me just hate them. This is greater than titanium. Noted. Yep. It's, it's, yep. Can't crunch ice cubes anyway. I'm kidding. <clears throat> All right, let's uh, let's try this again. God, that hurts. Why? I. It's making me really sad that water, filtered water, hurts. There is much to be done. Why? All right, patterns within patterns. We'll grab that. A monumental discovery. Feel free to crank up the volume if you need to. If I need to turn like the in-game music down because I'm speaking too quietly or whatever, please let me know. Um, I'm gonna try to do this as best I can. <clears throat> More Walker. Heligo stopped by earlier to give a report and said the Oracle's preparations were complete and you were urgently needed. If this is something that can help our efforts, I want you involved. Head to Exile's Hollow and see what they need. I feel do whatever you can to aid the Oracle. The fate of the Shadowlands depends on your success. Water is supposed to be neutral. Bug report? Yep. Have you tried bubble tea? Um, yeah, yesterday. It was an unpleasant experience. <laughs> um, I had yogurt today that stung for like half an hour after I had finished it. It was not a good slack. Just, I'm not having a great time with, oh, let's say, with uh, like ingestibles. <laughs> I do love bubble tea, I do, and I miss it dearly. Cause it just, it just stings way too much. You're certain that this is possible. This land it does. Um, I can't do either of those things at the moment. Um, so the Greek yogurt is stinging, like razor blades down my throat, and the blueberries, um, the teeny tiny seeds, get stuck in the stitches. <laughs> yep, everything just sucks. You're interrupting my research. It sucks. Uh, mortal, I have monumental news. Caesura has indicated that preparations are complete. It is time to create a new Arbiter. Without an Arbiter, the very purpose of the Shadowlands has been compromised. Souls flood the moor with no direction. As Caesar noted, Xerath Mortis would ordinarily craft a new being to take the Arbiter's place. I suspect the Jailer's forces have disrupted the land to the point where this is no longer possible. It is time to take action ourselves and bring stability again to the Shadowlands. Speak to, to Caesura and see where we must begin. What? A new arbiter. To think <laughs> I will observe something of this magnitude. It is a new. I'm not being able to enjoy pretty much anything that I usually enjoy at the moment, but that's that's okay. Um, it it is what it is. You know, I just have to kind of be gentle with my body and give it what it needs. Uh, I need to like sustenance is important, so finding stuff that doesn't sting. Um, I think I'm having mashed sweet potato for dinner tonight because the carbs will be much needed energy. Um, some scrambled eggs, sands, salt or pepper because um, the scrambled eggs will give me some protein and then I've bought a pack of like baby spinach to wilt uh, to get some greens in there too uh, and just hope that um, that'll be like nutritious enough, give my body the fuel it needs to repair what's going on and to, to fight off whatever the hell's going on. The um the surgeon said that um there are a couple of things that could have caused it. It could be a reaction to the anesthesia. Um, I didn't have a tube down my throat or anything because it's dental surgery. You can't do, like, you've got to, um, yeah, it kind of gets in the way, I, th I think. 
I know I had cannula because I've still got a massive bloody bruise. Oh, it took him three tries to get the cannula in. Yeah, I've got one on this hand, one on my elbow, and then finally they got it in the back of this hand. I prefer having it in my hand than my arm because if it's in my arm, I feel like I have to like lock that arm straight. It makes me paranoid about bending my elbow. Uh, having it in the hand's a bit better for me, I think. Um, but uh, so side effect to the anesthesia, it could be that my body is really run down trying to like recover from surgery. Um, and given that I had a throat infection so recently, it might be that I had like my body wasn't quite recovered from that yet. Like there was still something somewhere. And then this knock to my body has allowed it to come back in full force. Um, and the other option was a nutrition thing. Uh, that whatever I've been eating since surgery hasn't been balanced enough that my body is all just a bit out of whack and look honestly what I have been eating hasn't been the most balanced of stuff it's really hard to find balanced food that you don't have to chew <laughs> um, but and like a variety of food but um, that's why I'm, I'm trying to go all in with the super super healthy dinner tonight but we've, I've been doing pretty okay like I had um, I had the overcooked pasta and the, the mushy mint sauce which was really Good. Um, but I've also had like jelly and custard. So and, and marshmallows. So do you know what I mean? Like it's I haven't been like supremely healthy. Uh, and I probably I have not been drinking enough water either. Um, because I've been asleep a lot of the time, you know, kind of prevents you drinking because you choke or drown. But um yeah, so that's kinda all understandable, but all shit. Uh <laughs> <clears throat> Alright, how do we help Zareth Mortis create a new Arbiter? Uh, have you tried meal replacement drinks at all? I haven't yet, but that was on the list as um, like a, a last resort kind of thing. Um, meal replacement drinks is something I've tried to stay away from because I tried... Um, uh, uh, a while ago when I was a bit heavier and having some real difficulty kind of wrapping my head around how I'd put on weight and stuff like that I was trying to do meal replacement shakes because I thought hey this will help me keep on track and be healthy and stuff like that uh, and when I started seeing a dietitian one of the first things she did was get me off the shakes um, because it it um, for me personally wasn't building healthy habits and stuff like that um, so I'm I'm hesitant to get back onto them um, even if it's for a short while because I feel like I don't know especially if I take a while to recover from this and I'm kind of weak and therefore a bit weaker minded as well and have trouble kind of making then then I might kind of revert back to that behavior and I don't really want to do that um but they're definitely on the list as like a, a last resort in case I need something does, does I hope that makes sense um without like, yeah I definitely I wouldn't call it disordered eating or anything like that I, I haven't experienced that personally um but it it still wasn't healthy um, I wouldn't go far as as far as disordered eating, but it, what I was doing wasn't healthy either. Um, so, yeah, trying to avoid, but it is on the list as a possibility if I if this lasts longer than it should. I do have a surgeon checkup on Monday. I've had an OPG to, uh, which is a, den a dental scan, um, to make sure that the implant is where it needs to be and at the right angles and all that kind of stuff. Um, so when I go in on Monday for them to check up on all that, they're also going to check up on my throat and see how that's healing. Uh, and if it's not, then they're going to take further steps to help me knock that out. But yeah, if I'm if I'm unwell for a longer period of time, then yeah, I might jump on that just to get some extra nutrients. But I'd probably try to restrict it to once every couple of days or so, um, just because yeah, it's easy to slip back into old habits sometimes, you know. Tube through your nose to feed your belly. Yes, very true. Very, very true. Hey, Ice. Many days to cost effective. It's a challenging tri triangle to achieve. It really, really is meaty. And if you try throwing AIP in there, it becomes literally impossible. <laughs> um, well, no, that's okay. I was thinking that it also had soft and squishy in there as a corner. If I try to add soft and squishy and AIP, then it, yeah, it makes it impossible. Um, but I've been having uh, like yogurt. Yogurt's a good one. Um, cause they're, especially if it's Greek yogurt, cause it's the protein and, um, yeah, there's some sugar, but it's fucking tasty and it's not super cheap, but 
given that I'm not doing this for an extended period of time, I feel like it's okay and um, I ended up getting a discount on my anaesthetist bill. Um, so I feel like um, the, the little bit that I saved there, I can spend on some some fun food that I can actually eat. <laughs> Although yogurt now stings like a mofo, so I can't really do that. I <laughs> Oh, I just want to be healthy. I'm so sick of all this bullshit. I just, I just want to be healthy. No matter what I bloody well try, I can't seem to get there. Oh, but it's alright. One thing at a time. I've got, um, oh, right, shit, I've got makeup on. Whoops. Um, just rub my eye and get my eyeliner everywhere. Um, dentist, surgeon on Monday, rheumatology next Thursday. Um, psych, I think on Wednesday. It's just it's a medical it's a medical week next week. Um, so it's gonna be. I'm just I'm gonna use that time to just check in with all those different specialists and um, try to make a plan for getting back on track. Because I'm unhappy with the, work, the situation at the moment. Ah, uh, my seat all the time. Prep teams to take yeah for sure. Good afternoon, Chad. Hello. All right. How do we help Zareth Mortis create a new arbiter? <laughs> I appreciate all the suggestions and thoughts, though, guys. I, I really do. A symphony of creation. Thank you so much. Voices joined in chorus. One we possess, the other we do not. <clears throat> the vessel seeks a soul. One that slumbers in the crypts of the Eternal. Only with both will the Arbiter sing again. The crypts of the Eternal? But that area is overrun by Mossworn. How are we to get past them on our own? We are not alone, Pelagos. Surely the Covenants will aid us toward the creation of a new Arbiter. Every time I swallow a mouthful of water, I discover a new place I need to stick Bongello. <laughs> the Bongello is actually working really well as long as I let it sit for a bit before I have a drink. But there are some spots that I can't see that are like just sort of just under the tongue a little bit that I think, uh, yep. Yeah. <clears throat> the Covenants are certain to send aid if we ask. Back to Cezura is a pause or interruption in the lyric or poetic phase, and there's maybe her name inspiration. I reckon you I reckon you got it, Ice. That sounds perfect. I feel better soon for him. Me too, Tread. Me too. Thank you. These two voice actors. Uh, help from beyond. If we stand any chance of breaking through the Mossworn forces, we will need the help of all the Covenants. I will speak with the Kyrian. You and Pelagos can speak with the others, but before you go, ask Firim if there is any way we can gain the support of the Enlightened as well. I will rally the Kyrian. You and Pelagos You are not prepared! Enlist the Enlightened. Purse, hello! Thank you so much for the raid. How is your stream? How are you? Thank you for the caster command. Hi, the sun went. Oh, and Perksy. Thank you for your resub. Two months. Amazing. Thank you so, so much. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. If you're new here, I'm Fia. It is lovely to meet you. Um, I'm a bit buggered today. I had surgery, dental surgery on Monday, and I now have a throat infection. <laughs> Well, I mean, I think I th it's not actually infectious, like it's not going to spread, but it's it's damaging and I can actually probably tell. I don't usually sound this husky, but um, I'm not well, so but uh, I, I'm really glad I went live today. Uh, I was considering not, but I'm really, really glad I did because just the outpouring of love and support has, oh, it's, it's given me something I've been missing for the last few days, so thank you. I hope you're doing well, first, I've missed you. Jumped, love it. Yes, indeed, I did. I was like, Whoa. I'm, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm so dead. From the visit to Jesus after two years, I'm not hearing from the Oh, that's so interesting. 
It's so interesting she's super womaning it. Look, what I'm doing is probably pretty stupid. Talking my way through a stream when I have a throat thing to be left to heal and all that kind of stuff. But, um, yeah, so, like, I'm not the smartest of people, but I'm, I needed a dose of happy juice. So, happy brain juice and all that kind of stuff, and that's kind of... By the sun well. Tribe, thank you. <laughs> oh my god, thank you so much for the gifted subs. By thank the you. Sun well. Thank you. Congratulations to everyone who got caught. <coughs> Congratulations, Crumb, if there are two. Please, sir, may I have some more? By the sun well. Goddamn. Oh, I just feel like trash. Um, hope that helps. Of course. Trud, thank you so much. That is so generous of you. Hi, the sun Yes, I'm yay, romantic. Congratulations. Oh my god. I just... <laughs> oh, fuck. I feel like I don't deserve you guys sometimes. Hi, the sun just... You guys are amazing and ridiculous, and I'm so grateful. <clears throat> Can we get additional aid from the Enlightened? Self Mortis holds much to discover. I doubt my compatriots <laughs> in heaven would dare tread Fisher. on such hallowed ground. But fear not. I, as always, have an idea. God. <clears throat> Kabato, we have need of your assistance. Kabato? Hmm. Perhaps you can awaken it, mortal. Ah, there you are. Meet us near the eternal cliffs, Kabato. It is time to fight back against the Morse Swan. Super cute. Super adorable. Okay, uh, so Venthyr forces met. Let's go find the Venthyr. Hey, Creeley, congratulations! Just have Ashley. Oh, right. Okay, yeah, I've already got ashes. Like, yes. <laughs> a new arbiter. A chance to restore balance to the Shadowlands. Goodness gracious. It's the best. Could there be any greater act of service? Today is, is not going to be a full length stream. Um, uh, that's one of the reasons I didn't do stream readers today is that I didn't want to. F I didn't want to feel like I had to keep going for 25 minutes until the end of a battle kind of thing. I was just like, if I need to go, I need to go. Um, like this is a. With a new a arbiter in place, I hope every soul finds the afterlife they truly deserve. Uh, but. Whenever I do end, you'll have the fact that next stream is Chef Squad to look forward to. I'm just hoping I can actually speak properly by Sunday. Good Clearly lord. You have come it's alright, I'm gonna do the do the gargles, do the strepsils, do the painkillers, do the vongella. I'm gonna do everything and just not talk to Jazz. <laughs> um, and hopefully that'll be enough to let my throat heal. <clears throat> I need your assistance. Revendra stands beside you, Moorwalker. To battle! We can feel better soon. I do too, really. Work. Thank you so much. Revendra needs anima, and for that, we need souls that deserve redemption. Night Fae. Let's go meet the Night Fae. Nadia has a point. Hey, Greg, congratulations. But if you ask me, well, I think every soul deserves redemption. Elagos has not met many people, let's see. They, have they? No, he? Shit, I forget. 
no, that's right, they were using they pronouns in the PTR, and it was expressed that no, he, him should be right. Yes. He's not many met. He's not many met many people. We have met entirely too many people in this game who are not deserving of redemption. <clears throat> It's been a while. Serve the cycle. Um, Transman, yes, correct. Correct. Um, yeah, because I was like, wait, was it they? Because I forgot for a second, but no, I was getting my wires crossed where in the PTR he did have they, them pronouns for, for a minute there. But then the feedback from the community was if he's a trans man, probably would be looking at he. Of course, every case is different. There is no correct kind of, you know, everyone is going to go through their own journey. Um, but with how Pelagos' story was written, the correct pronouns should have been he, him. And so Blizz changed it. Um, and I, yeah, I've, <laughs> I've <laughs> taken too many painkillers this week. I am fried, and so clearly I've gotten my wires crossed, and my apologies for that. Um... Uh, okay, will you bring your forces to fight with us? Keep your claws sharp. The might of Ardenweald is yours, Maw Walker. Fantastic. We have always watched over the Great Cycle. I hope that this new Arbiter will do the same. Necrolord. I think it's fried today. Epic. To watch over the great cycle, the Arbiter's decisions affect more than just souls, but the Shadowlands entire. I'm actually killing it. It's an abrupt change in music. Stretches out the all the everything at the back of my throat because it's all covered in ulcers. It kind of hurts like hell. <clears throat> Altraxus honors you. Oh, will you bring your forces to fight with us? Soldiers, you heard the Maw Walker. We march on the endless sands. Let's see if this new arbiter proves strong enough for the task ahead. Assembled forces. The engine that creates these automa is not working. Clear the defective ones. Mavix is um, right. The Arbiter must sure. have the strength and resolve to do what must be done. I'm not really sure. Um, the thing that sort of caught me by surprise was usually it like fades out and then fades in, but it was just kind of and then the other music sort of faded in slowly, which was really jarring. <laughs> Um, but even then, I think I was in the desert biome when it happened. I don't know, maybe it was a late transition and that's why it's cut it off. Like, I'm not, I, I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. <gasps> oh, sorry, I am wrecked. Okay, um, between the strength of the Covenant forces and the help of the Automa, we should be able to reach the crypt. Oh my god, so many Are quests. We worthy <clears throat> of such knowledge? Giants litter these sands, mortal. I believe we can revitalize them. The smaller automa that are hiding in the desert can be utilized here. Use my motivator to rally them to our cause. If we can gather enough, their energy can replenish these defeated behemoths to bolster our forces. Return as many as you can to me, and we will do the work. There is always more. Can you work. hear their echo? The song incomplete. Harmony is needed. Seek those who scry. Send them to serve the cycle. Morsworn, hold the keys that bind. Take the keys. Set them. The design my blades are Morwalker, at your command. My scouts report that the Morsworn have dominated two autumn oracles to aid them in battle. These oracles will most certainly predict our strategy and ultimate goal if given the chance. 
Need to eliminate both oracles before we enter the crypts. With them out of the way, or sworn troops won't know what we're doing until we're finished with it. Take Emony with you. She's eager. Our might is with you and Emony eliminate those oracles. We will prepare for the assault. Trying to hold water in the back of your throat for a second to try to cool down the pain. Do not recommend. <laughs> that was embarrassing. <sighs> That's good. I like that. Wildflowers. No, what kind of game is it? That's awesome. That's really good to hear, Meanie. What kind of game is it? <clears throat> Bring the Atoma Cores to me. They can power the behemoths you see before you. Also, squirt day to day. That's important to anyone currently. Which? Oh, that's super cute. Tell me, how reliant upon microtransactions is it? Is it one of those games where everything takes three days unless you pay for gems to speed it up? So I've tried enough of those games that, like, I know, know that I will play it for two days and then get sick of having to wait around. And by the same token, I would love to support. It's like I want to support creators who you know, champion representation, but I don't want to support game devs who champion shitty business practices. <laughs> <clears throat> do you, you know what I mean? Like, it's like, where do I sit on this? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, sub. Okay. I don't think I've got a sub to that. Is it a free? Of course. Of course. Yeah, I don't tend to With play Atoma, much on my phone. The swarm. Like, I play a few puzzle games and things like that, but, like, there are enough free Sudoku apps. You know what I mean? So it kind of... I don't think I play on my phone enough to <clears throat> warrant a um, subscription to the arcade thing. That's really good to know. I hope they get like lots of good stats and stuff.
Alright, don't get me wrong with the microtransactions. Um, I understand, like, businesses deserve to, like, especially, you know, game developers and stuff like that deserve to be paid. Um, I just, I think it's, the way that it's designed is predatory. It obviously makes money, otherwise they wouldn't still be doing it. <laughs> but I would prefer to pay for a game and just be able to play it than have ads everywhere and microtransactions. me. I am very, very curious. Oh, it's Jeff. He's on his way home. Um, I'm very, very, very keen to see what this new mobile game, Warcraft franchise, very keen. Jack. Um, the short answer is I'm okay-ish um, for the longer answer um, because it took me a while to talk about it and my throat sucks. Um, 13 minutes into the VOD, roughly, is when I started talking about the whole thing of if you want the long story. If you don't, I won't be offended. But if you're, if you would like the information, that is where it can be found. Okay, so I still need to hit the other. Yeah, also suck. Yeah. You shall be silenced. <laughs> <clears throat> something's wrong when filtered water, cold filtered water hurts. Not even like ice cold, but just like nicely chilled. Your cosmos is forfeit. No, because the cold was what I was thinking to like numb it, but maybe I need to try that. <clears throat> Although this at this point is now kind of warm and that's stinging like a bitch. So. Not warm, but like room temp. Maybe I do need to warm it up a little. A dash of boiling water in my cup just to, to warm the rest of it up a little bit. Maybe I should try tea. He sounds like it would hurt, right? Chai tea or something? Yeah, chai would be a bad idea because of all the spices, but like... <laughs> I think I've got some lemongrass. I could add some honey. And then just like let it cool down. Drop an ice cube or two in it. I think it'd be nice. I don't... I'm not sure if we have any milk. But I do have bubble tea creamer. It's the same thing, right? You dissolve it in hot water. Your best friend. Maybe I just need to like get a spoon of honey and just like eat it.
It has been a long time. Oh, uh oh. Mmm, that was a bad idea. Oh, that was a horrible idea. <sighs> that was a really bad idea. <clears throat> so, um. Uh, it's been a long time since I've had a honey. Just honey, as opposed to honey as an ingredient. I forgot how goddamn sweet it was. Um, my throat is now on fire. Like, <laughs> like I am over salivating to protect from the pain. Voices kind of. breathe a symphony in stasis. Their moment oh. will soon arrive. <laughs> You are not prepared! Hello, Twig. Thank you so much for the raid. How was your stream? I hope you had a fantastic time. Loves the dance. It's been pretty, uh, pretty even, Nano. Honestly, I've had some real terrible stuff and some real awesome stuff. Just kind of like it's oddly balanced. I wish the universe didn't feel like it had to smack me across the face with a brick to give me something nice, but we're here we are. <laughs> but it's been like oddly, like weirdly balanced. I hope you're doing well though. As well as this too fear if you put it in liquid. Too late. <laughs> too late. Yeah, that that stung. I feel like I swallowed the bees rather than the honey. That was unpleasant. I do not recommend that. Headline. Streamer does something stupid on stream. Gets clipped. Yeah, we're good. Okay, wonderful. <coughs> Spoonful honey minus a spoon. Less dishes. Fewer dishes. Recommend minties. Really? Equals clip. Oh no, god no, it'd sting like hell. Thank you for the cast of command, Shiva. Oh no! I'm so sorry to hear that, Twig. I hope the storm rolls over nice and quickly and doesn't cause too much damage. Enjoy knowing you. Yeah, so far so good. So far so good. Oh, to anyone who hasn't been here before, I'm Fia. It's really lovely to meet you. Um, I had dental surgery on Monday and I've had some complications which has resulted in me being in just so much pain. Like the dent, like the, the surgery, totally fine. Um, I have a throat infection. Um, <laughs> so I'm, I'm just, I'm in a lot of pain and just kind of miserable with like the speaky. And so what do I do? I jump on and do a stream of Storyland where I read all the quests. Uh, and I just ate uh, like a teaspoon-ish of, of honey because it was like, yeah, that'll help. Uh, spoiler alert, it didn't help. Um, put it in hot water first. <laughs> Has the eyes though? Of course, of course. Of course, I don't know. I don't know what color chair is gonna be though. Um, I have to. I have to find out. It's a good. That it is balanced. Yeah, I'm. I'm thankful that it's balanced. Like it could be a whole lot worse. It could be a whole lot better, but it. It could also be a whole lot worse. And recognizing that is important. So, yeah. Stream title from is familiar. I have no idea. I have no idea. But I've. I've heard the phrase here for a good time, not for a long time. Um, like all over the place so like when people talk about like limited edition items it's like you know it's only here for a short while it's not here for ages but it's really good to get so it's that whole kind of um but I, I don't know where it originated um I have no idea um but I've heard it a lot uh so I kind of adapted it for the because I know today is not going to be a long stream because I can't <laughs> I, I just can't uh feel logic equals uh, throat equals talkies yep clearly obviously 
Oh, there you go. There you go. Okay. Uh, right. Scissor. <clears throat> Our chorus gathers soon. Our voices will merge. A stillness. Ah, where's... The wonders well done, mortal. Soon we shall see the results of your efforts. Excellent. Stand this strong. plan will almost certainly succeed. Perfectly executed, Fiamma. The loss of those oracles should keep the more sworn in the dark. We follow the will of the Primus. Okay, Fareem. <clears throat> this is it, mortal. The forces you have assembled should be enough to break through the more sworn and reach the crypts. Getting inside, however, will require more effort. The more sworn have barricaded the entrance. Bato will carry you into battle, eliminate the Morsworn, and destroy the devices that power the barrier. Riding Kabato, defeat the Morsworn forces in the endless sands and open the way to the crypts. That is not Kabato. Will begin their this is Kabato. Everyone just yelling is fantastic. Yes! It is time to strike back at the Morsuon! Ooh, okay, so that's a death beam. Four finger beam. Kabato Kai. So it's an AoE. Movement speed, healing. Once. Morsuon and Shadow Ball Box. Okay, I see. <clears throat> Big ones kind of hurt. <coughs> oh, hey, nurse. Uh, I'm not well, but I will survive. I'm I'm okay-ish. Five. That's step one. We must push for the crypts. Trample the moss one. Hope you're doing well. Good to hear. Now is our chance. Kabato can destroy the barrier at the entrance to the crypt. The line while you explore the crypts. Do you see the patterns? Why the, the first patterns. ones? I never dreamed I would see this place with my own you eyes. Can never research too much. Yeah, I'm not sure. What. Harmonies merge between us. Creation calls. Can you hear it? Yet darkness lingers below, taints the ancient melody. To forge anew, peace must be restored. The walker must walk and protect. There is much to be done. The cosmos has been shaped. Slans, go. No? Okay. I 
think it's going alright. This is the last chapter. I've enjoyed it so far. <clears throat> well, that can't be good. Domination has gotten into the crypt. A song distorted. The crypts defile. Voices are muffled in the lingering dark. Essences of ancient souls tampered with, they bleed from each room. Halls must be restored, the flow of souls redirected. The spheres hold the key, seal the breaches, restore the flow, then the vessel may be filled. <clears throat> Darkness spreads dissonance throughout these halls. More swan drain life from the air and give only suffering. This must not be. If the song is to be restored, silence is needed. The sworn must be destroyed. Understandable. <clears throat> Align the spheres. Only then can harmony be restored. Those must be the spheres. Try pushing them into place. Um, I'm not too sure yet. Um, luckily, the complication. Uh, so, if you want like a full story of what's been going on with me for the week, uh, 13 minutes roughly into the VOD is when I started talking about the whole story. Uh, so you're very welcome to have a look at that if you want more details. Um, but in summary, it's not as oh no as it could have been, which is really good. Um, it does mean that my body's gonna take longer to heal because it's trying to heal the surgery site and like ulcers at the back of my throat, so like a, a, essentially a throat infection. Um, so I'm probably gonna feel like shit for a little bit longer. Um, but it could have been a hell of a lot worse, like a, a, like a hell of a lot worse. Um, so I'm thankful for that. Thankful that it's not a hell of a lot worse. Um, but I, I don't know yet. Um, so. I've got a dental scan today, so I got an OPG done today, which is like a dental x-ray type deal, um, and I have a checkup on Monday to see, uh, to make sure that the implant is sitting where it's meant to be and all the right angles and that kind of stuff, so that's probably I wonder why these when I'll get were not sent to an, an answer to that question. How was their fate decided? <clears throat> Uh, so Pelagos just said, I wonder why these souls were not sent to an afterlife. How was their fate decided? Um, but I won't... So if the implant's in the right place and all that kind of stuff, I don't think I'll end up having another... Unless unless they want to check up with my throat and stuff, um, I won't have another appointment with them for a while. Um, it's another four-month block. So I had four months for the bone graft to take. Uh, now I have four months for the implant to take and to heal because uh, the way titanium works is that it actually like essentially meshes with your own bone, your own structures and everything, which is so freaking cool. Um, so they give it four months and then they do what's called a talk test. Uh, T-O-R-Q-U-E. Talk, not like Yammer, like what I do. Different kind of talk. Um, to make sure that it's solidly in place and that it's going to be able to take the pressures of chewing and that kind of stuff. Um, so that'll be like four months away. Uh, but yeah, once they're happy, once the talk test is done and they're happy with it, that'll be crown time. Put the post in, pop the crown on and done ski. But that's a while away, obviously. It's not going to be until like at least August kind of thing. Um, and for obvious reasons, exactly, which is why I made sure to check what time I started talking about it so I could tell people. 
<laughs> I was actually thinking ahead for once in my life. Um, but yeah, it's if you want like the whole story, 13 minutes into the VOD is, is where you can start. Or somewhere, somewhere around there, roughly. Hey, Dirt, how you going? Who's in Strauss's name? And he helping. Interesting. Um, raisins sound like they might be a bit too sticky with this the stitches. Um, with the implant. Expected. It's really in vitamin E. I have to look at- thank you for that recommendation, Jess, because I mean, feeling that I reckon that I could probably find some kind of vitamin E supplement. I hope this works. It's so interesting. Make it real quick. <laughs> oh, my teeth at least. place uh, because it's all the way at the back of my throat so if you have a look if you like open wide and shine like the torch from your phone like into your mouth while you're looking in the mirror um, you can see like your jaws like your teeth stop and then there are like flaps of like membrane or skin or whatever and then there's like a lumpy cauliflower like pink cauliflower looking things behind that those are your tonsils and the, the flapper skin in front of them is called the soft palate and it runs all the way up to the top of your throat uh, top of your mouth and becomes the roof of your mouth um so there are nothing there's nothing on my tonsils my tonsils are the normal size normal color no ulcers nothing which is fantastic um i do not want tonsillitis um never had it before never want to have it um but the soft palette those two little flaps are red red raw covered in ulcers um there's a couple on the roof of my mouth and i think there's one that dangly bit at the back of your throat it's called the uvula i think there's one on there as well which is the one that hurts when i swallow um so because they're all behind my teeth i can't bite them so there's there's a bonus there's there's something to be happy about um but yeah i've got um <clears throat> Nurofen for the swelling uh, and for obviously pain relief. I have Savicol, which is an antiseptic mouthwash, which is designed to just keep everything clean and, and ho hopefully get it to heal. I've got Bongella, if you guys have ever heard of it. It's like that aniseed flavored gel that you'd put on like teething babies' gums and stuff. It's like a numbing agent. I've been putting that on a cotton tip and like painting it on my soft palette, which is the worst thing I've ever had to do. I'm kidding but it's not very nice. Um, and I have strepsils, like antiseptic uh, and, and anesthetic. Antiseptic and anesthetic strepsils that taste like ass. But um, yeah, so that's kind of, <sighs> it's good fun, good fun. Uh, our breath held anticipation. Soon the soul will merge and the song of creation will begin golden hour of silence, a space for creation to begin. The spheres are in place, a melody builds, go, bring forth the chorus of scryers, that the cycle of rebirth may begin. The hour approaches, summon the scryers. Hang on. Kareem's not the arbiter. Are we worthy of such knowledge? The chamber is safe, we can proceed Leave with the ritual. To my we shall soon witness the purpose of these <clears> sacred <throat> halls. I can scarcely believe it. Mm. Take it doing their function, me too. Um, the anesthetic, like the, the numbing stuff has been, but not for very long. It seems to wear off fairly quickly. Um, talking's not helping. But I'm an idiot and wanted to stream, so that's fine. A new arbiter waits in the wings. Oh, is it Claire? Wait. Hang on a minute. You're tasting farts and ass. Yep. Yep. Um, at least these uh the um antibiotics that I've had uh did not take uh, did not make fart burps a thing. They weren't capsules, so they were fine. 
But yeah, 2022 has um it's been it's been a rough start to the year, I'm not gonna lie. It's it's been a really rough start for me. Um, but we're getting there. The rustle of creation, whisper in the dark. We may begin. It is time. The song shall bring life in you. Tell me when you are ready to begin. I can't be Clara Pelagos, because then what happens to your soul bind? Unless you're only bound to. The chorus it's fine. Let's of just. Signals. The vessel awaits. Your voice must join them. Dissonance. A melody lost long ago. Something is interfering with the ritual. Long have we awaited this moment. The Banished One's Gambit made manifest. A world soul twisted by death. A maul with which to crush the Arbiter. Oh, and now it shall take this vessel. Argus will be eternal. Mm. Evil laughter. <laughs> Argus again. Argus draws energy from that soul conduit. Ma Walker, you must destroy it. Walker, destroy the conduit. the debuff that says he takes 99% less damage, because it ain't there. Like, okay, so I get it that, like...
they needed a way to be like, oh, so the Dreadlords weren't just like some fun little piece of trivia. Oh, BT dubs, the Dreadlords are related to Athreus. I, I, I get it, but that just seemed weird. Uh, dissonance lingers, a pure tone is needed. Reset the cycle. More Walker, what happened? A uh, pause, devoid of breath, a melody lingers on, the cycle awaits a voice. You are unsure of what Caesar means, perhaps you should try to set up the ritual again, starting with the vessel and the scryers. The melody fades, a plaintive refrain, the cycle awaits a voice. What is she talking about? We don't need riddles, we need answers. What's our next plan, Warwalker? There must be another answer. I do not wish to say it, but it seems we have failed, my friend. Let's see, yeah, a little bit. Still tears. Good. Let's get him showing up at some point. So I saw that, which I'm sure that you noticed as I looked up. I'm not sure if you sure saw the flash on my face, but I saw the flash and went, oh, here we go. <laughs> that was that was thunder and lightning. That was lightning followed by thunder. Uh, I would love to help Nano. Unfortunately, I am of a different persuasion in terms of physical attributes, uh, so I will refrain from this one. But hopefully, someone in chat will be able to um, have a conversation with you. Uh, Sam Close Thunder. Uh, not actually that close. Um, there was a good second and a half between the flash and the, the sound, so it was a little bit like, I mean, it wasn't instantaneous. I've seen it instantaneous before, like, same time, but. Um, yeah, it was not, it was not too far away. So you looked and heard the crack. There was a bright flash. The bright fucking flash was what made me look. It was like someone had turned on the soft boxes outside. It was very bright. Uh, sheet metal at the window. They did not. <laughs> they did not. Uh, seems we have failed, my friends. Without the Arbiter to stem the flow of souls to the moor, the Shadowlands will never be fully repaired. This cannot be the end. Surely you can think of something find a way to create a new arbiter so oh, clearly okay. friend we've got to set up the different people like not blame yourself. enlightened and all the covenants i just wish there were some way <clears throat> that's why we've got them all here there is a way do you mean from the start there has always been just one path pelagos what do you mean the rain. In service to the Shadowlands, I offer my soul. What? No. I have yet to ascend, Clea. Perhaps there was a reason for it. But your soul! You do not have to do this. I knew this was coming. I know. I can't remember this if I actually vocalized choice, it. Sister. But we did say a few weeks back. I do not want to let you go. Let's so work with the soul binder. Our souls are bound as one. We will never be apart. <clears throat> A new voice freely offer. A worthy soul. Pure.
Take a kiss. Is it still you? I guess why it had to be a Kyrian. It just I have always been, and yet so much more. My path has become clear. I must take my place in Oribos. Go in service, brother of my heart. We will meet you there. Farewell, my friends. The pattern is made whole. We return. And continue. It makes sense why it's a Kyrian. They're the only ones suitable. Everyone else has attachments to their pasts and all that kind of stuff. The Kyrian are the only ones who shed that, but that's why I hated them in the first place. It's why I didn't like their methods and stuff. Like, it's... Making some random person an eternal one. I, I don't know. It just... Eh. Uh, okay. A new voice added to the chorus. The cycle continues ever onward. The song has been completed and harmony has been restored, yet Zareth Mortis remains haunted by discord. Dissonance lingers still outside these walls. We must leave before it finds us. Speak with the one you call for. Nah, that just didn't hit. I just... wait, it... Ugh. I I get it, but it wasn't the big climactic moment that I was hoping for, I guess. Mm. What do you mean it's the champion of Azeroth? I don't know what you mean by that, sorry I see. Uh, but no, Kyrian suck. They suck, big hairy dick. Um, not, I, I don't care about like the, uh, um, like the, the actual in-game mechanics and stuff like that. I absolutely hate their claim that in order to be able to do a job effectively you need to forget literally everything that makes you who you are. I think that's bullshit. Um, that like, I don't care if it, you know, you're trying to shuffle souls to the afterlife without judgment. I think that you, like, they're literally just shuffling them to the afterlife. They're not making the judgment. The Kyrian are not the arbiters. All they are doing is taking a person who has died to another place. You don't need to be a robot to do that. You don't need to be blank of everything to be able to do that. To have a truly to have a, to a conversation with them on the way, maybe, but you can still have a civil conversation with someone for ten goddamn minutes while you shuffle them along to the arbiter. The arbiter needs to not have any prejudgments. Needs to be essentially a robot, which Pelagos is not. Pelagos has a personality. Um, so, yeah, I j I just disagree vehemently with the core belief of the Kyrian. Um, I was with the purple people. Um, wholeheartedly. Like, before I knew they existed, when we were leveling on day one, before I knew that the purple people were a thing, um, I was with them. Uh, yeah, I, I think that the Kyrian, the, that whole methodology is just crap. Um, personally. But that's my personal opinion. And you're free to disagree with me. But yeah, which is a, another reason why I think that it's a bit random that it's just like, hey, Pelagos. Um, because... He does have a personality. He does like he may have forgotten bits and pieces, and he may have given up as much as he could, but he like he kept failing at it. He couldn't ascend because he couldn't release everything. So he has those judgmental tendencies. He has that unconscious bias because of his personal life experiences, regardless of what they are. So why is he the arbiter? If anything, it should have been an ascended Kyrian. Like, someone who had removed all of those biases. So that, you, you know, that just that doesn't make sense. 
Oh. Whatever. Makes a pretty story. <clears throat> oh, so dang pretty. Yes. Yellow does suit him. I'll give you that. She screams through. I'm a who played that reality. So many emotionally evolved roles couldn't exist. Correct. I have to earn Grand Bastion even say it in the cinematic. It's not everybody. I'm I'm aware of that. But the Kyrian don't take people to Bastion. The Kyrian take people from wherever they have died to the Shadowlands at the top of the stream. That stream, they, they drop people into the stream, it goes through to the Arbiter, and then the Arbiter makes a decision to potentially send them to Bastion or anywhere else. The Kyrian don't have to make any decisions, therefore they don't need to be bias-free. All they need to be is able to to be, the, all they need to be is capable of having a, a ten minute journey with a recently dead person. I'm aware of how you get to Bastion, but it's the Arbiter that makes that decision. The Kyrian have nothing to do with that decision whatsoever. All they do is deal with the souls once they're sent there by the Arbiter. Ah, such a all the champions are light. Um, I so have to earn your place, but who you are needs to be destroyed. Destroy in 14236. So that little piece of humanity that remains makes him better equipped. Uh, the Kyrian, the head of the Shadowlands? No. In the role of a hearse driver? Correct. They are the hearse drivers. That's literally it. They're just like, oh, dead person? Hi, yeah, you have recently died. Um, yes, that is correct. I'm very sorry. You are actually dead. That is what happened, yes. Do you, do you need to walk through how that happened? Like, yep, yep, you were, you were there. There was that person. And and yes, now you are dead. Uh, no, you're not able to speak to your loved ones, unfortunately. This is it. You're done. Are you okay to move on yet? No, you want to talk a bit more? Okay, cool. That's fine. Let's let's have a bit more of a... You, you're done? Okay. I'm going to take you to the Shadowlands. You're going to meet the Arbiter. And the Arbiter is going to find a place for you in your afterlife. And the Arbiter's fantastic at their job. They're, they'll find the exact right place for you. Except she's kind of broken at the moment, so it'll probably be the more. But that's fine. I'm gonna take you anyway. Let's go. That's what the Kyrian do. That's it, literally, with less personality. <laughs> that's it. Uh, so if we unbiased character. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, they ascended themselves over to the Valley here. They're just a mechanism to get to the Shadowlands. Kyrian go through trials to remove their attachments, memories. I don't know. Yes, Kyrian makes that decision. Not the other three covenants. Correct. No. 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 Kyrian don't make any decisions. Kyrian make zero decisions. The Arbiter is who determines where the soul ultimately goes. Correct. And the Arbiter is not Kyrian. The Arbiter is of no covenant. Well, until now. Technically, Pelagos is no longer Kyrian because Pelagos is the Arbiter. The Arbiter is not of a of uh, not of a covenant. Uh, her drivers aren't carrying the souls. Won't intentionally drop them off in the moor if they feel the Arbiter won't judge them. Fair. Fair. But in terms of a correctly functioning Shadowlands. The the comparison is 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 acceptable. It's acceptable. But yeah, the, the Kyrian do nothing in terms of decision making. None of the covenant covenants do anything in terms of actual decision making. The only ones who could come close to decision making uh, would be uh, the Venthyr. But they don't choose which souls to take. The Arbiter. If the, if the Arbiter, if it's a terrible, 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 terrible soul, whoosh, straight to the Thmaw. If it's a pretty bad soul, but like, maybe there's a chance for forgiveness, then they send them to the Venthyr. That's where the Venthyr talk to the soul, extract what they need from the soul, and then the Venthyr make a decision about whether or not the soul is capable of redemption. Or they are on the other side of the borderline, which is terrible, 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 and has to go to the moor. In which case, they will send them back to the Arbiter, who will send them to the moor. But if they are capable of redemption, the Venthyr will make the decision to help them on the path to redemption. Yeah, whip the hell out of them and extract the anima. Uh, and then once they have accepted their flaws, and once they have been redeemed, they have a decision. The soul gets to make a choice. Become Venthyr to help in the redemption of other souls or go back to the Arbiter. In which case the Arbiter will see this newly redeemed soul and send them on to one of the other covenants. 
wherever they fit best as though they were a newly dead good person. Does that make sense? But yeah, the Kyrian, the Kyrian are just, it, it's just the Grim Reaper. Not a judgment. There is no judging. It is just a ferrying of souls and you do not need to be a mindless robot to be a bus driver. You don't. Uh, we should lose the soul in the government. Correct, but we don't. However, I think they probably covered that with that whole line, like, I am your soul bind, I will always be with you. That's probably why they stuck that line in to kind of tick that box and answer that question. Uh, it's the Arbiter who does the decision making before the other Covenants. Yes, the Arbiter is the only one who does decision making. The only other Covenant who could be considered to be making decisions is Venthyr. Everyone else just takes a soul and goes, hey, you're here. Come be put to work. That's it. No decision making whatsoever. They just sent a new recruit. Uh, if they do make a decision like with others, they don't want the bakery. Correct. Correct. They shouldn't be doing that. That was wrong. I do believe it's similar to soul connection with Claire not being broken by binding with us. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, that's why I think this whole thing is a bit silly because it, it just doesn't make sense to, like, if anyone, it should have been someone who is. Kyrian drone number 3,271. Um, but it wasn't. It was a Kyrian who failed to attain uh, ascendancy, or whatever they want to call it. A Kyrian who failed to shrug the bindings and shrug the personality, but yeah. I was going through the seeds of new grows into the new etc. Mm. Yeah, it's uh yeah. Anyway. <clears throat> Arden the most. Fuck no, I'm Venthyr. <laughs> um, I am Vampire. <laughs> I've been Venthyr since the day they announced the expansion. Um, when they were showing the aesthetics, I'm like, oh look, Vampire, that's me. Another one? Oh look, you're not Vampire. I'm still Vampire. Another one? Yep, still Vampire. Oh look, a fourth one. No, I'm still Vampire. And I have not changed my mind, nor my covenant since. I've been Venthyr since literally day one. Um, this is great, but you're right, it does feel lackluster. For me, for me, and I, I know I'm explaining my thought process a lot because there are the, the questions and stuff like that, but if you found the cutscene powerful, if you found the story powerful, all that kind of stuff, then please don't let me take away from your experience. No? Okay, there was another lining. Oh, there it was. It was just everyone. Um, Please don't let me take away from your experience. These are my opinions and my opinions only. Um, you are free to agree or to disagree uh, or to to agree with part of it and disagree with another part of it. And and that, that you know, anywhere along that spectrum, like no, no harm done whatsoever. Um, the only thing I'm going to correct is misinformation, is wrong facts um, or like misunderstandings of how the system works and stuff like that. I'm not gonna tell you your opinion is wrong or that, you know, no, I like Pelagos as the Arbiter. No, you're wrong. There, there's, there's nothing. I'm not going to do that. That's, that is incorrect of me to do that. Um, you take out of it what you want to take out of it, 100%. Um, but if those assumptions are based on, like, if those feelings are based on f fake, like fake news, you know, if they're, if they're based on incorrect knowledge, uh, then I'm going to correct that. And whatever you feel at the end of that, then you are free to feel that. Your feelings are your own. Uh, it is not anybody's place to tell you that you are wrong. Um, again, unless it's a fundamental understanding of a fact. Anyway. <coughs> Hello, Lucky. How are you going? It's good to see you too. It wasn't the whole point of carrying into each other. It's a blessing and removing its connections. And it was too extreme. I think so. There was definitely a strong feeling of that. And that, you know, adapting like that maybe their one true path wasn't maybe one or true it's still a path um but yeah it's uh it's an improvement i think uh, well done star 
Um, yeah, that's what we just, the cutscene and stuff we just saw. Fair, totally fair. He's a point character that's kind of trans. I don't know, I just don't feel like he's become a power to justify who he is as a character. It doesn't really feel right. That's also fair. You can still love a character, but not love where they end up. You know, there's like, you can feel everything right the way up to that. Oh, hang on, wait, what? Like, do you know, there's, it's totally okay. Your feelings are valid. Uh, why would I go to Elysian Hole? It's the same Arbiter, because that's not the Arbiter in Elysian Hold. The Arbiter is in Oribos. That is the head of the Kyrian Covenant. Two different characters. I think her name's... Is it Kyrestia? I always forget that one. Uh, I'm good. My bad day is back. I really need to talk to her. Are you recovering your hip and surgery? No. I mean, yes, but also no. Um, this week has been perfectly balanced with amazing things and terribly trash things. It's just... <laughs> Um, as far as I'm aware, surgery went well, but I've got a throat thing. Uh, 13 minutes into the VOD, I go on the whole description of everything that's happened this week. Um, I'm not going to repeat it because throat, but if you would like to know all the stuff, um, yeah, 13 minute mark is where you'll find it. Sorry. Uh, the one he was really interested in is It's a very true. Yeah, the, the popping up of Argus was just weird, and then I, I don't know who else would have fit there either, but making a random person into an Eternal just feels weird. And and someone who has biases, like, you know, like think of someone who's been through some kind of abuse, right? Maybe Pelagos. I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know enough about Pelagos's background and story and stuff like that. But let's say that Pelagos experienced some abuse of a particular type. I don't know what type. Let's just, you know, imagine something in your head. I'm sure everyone's got something. But um, uh, so if Pelagos hasn't shed all those prejudices um, for valid reasons, validly prejudiced against people who abused him in a particular way, totally valid. Um, but he's been able to, unable to shed that. So if he has someone who comes through his his path of souls, who a robot might say, well, they did think about doing that one thing that one time, so they're a pretty bad person. But also they didn't do it much, so maybe they've maybe they're worthy of redemption. Maybe they can work through that shit. Maybe they can work it off become a contributing member of society, we'll send them to Revendreth. Whereas Pelagos is like, you did that thing that I had done to me, you fuckwit, you're going to the mall. Whoosh. You know, like, if the Kyrian's methodology was sound and I agreed with what they were doing, it would be for the Arbiter, for that specific role. That is the one role in the entire Shadowlands that requires zero prejudice. It's like robotic drone number 3,271. Like, that is that is exactly what's required there. And he's the one that didn't get that. That's another lightning flash. So it, do you know, that's like... If anything, it should have been Claire, but Claire's also got a bit too much personality. <clears throat> so yeah, it's uh, Claire's a bit judgy as well, but that's that's okay. It's uh, um, it's fine for her because she just very souls. But yeah, you know, it's a uh, it's kind of a, a thing. Chris, <clears throat> thank you, lucky. Thank you. The Archon, that's the word I'm looking for. Archon, thank you. Yep. Yeah, so it's, yeah, it's just all a bit, I don't know, it just doesn't feel right. Maybe there's my a reason for it. Like, you know, all the stuff that Sylvanas did and everyone's saying it doesn't feel right, she's gone bond levels of villainy, blah, 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 blah. It turned out there was a very good reason for all of that, and it was she was trying to funnel more power to the more so that she would get more power. Rightly or wrongly, it's, you know, it actually connected. 
So maybe this is not the end of the story. Maybe there is actually a connection from, from Pelagos specifically to like the next expansion or something. I don't know. None of us know. We won't know until uh, April 20 something. Yep. Yeah. I'm going to be up at two in the morning watching that. <laughs> I can hardly believe, or hardly believe, all we've accomplished. Truly, this is a day worth remembering. We could not have achieved this without you, my friend. May I share a word with you, my friend? Related though, um, not related. They were created similarly at the same time. Blah blah blah. Kind of, it's like they're the eternal ones, but they're not actually related. Um. Uh, the the Winter Queen has a sister, but not in the sense that we would consider siblings. It, it's they were like through the creation process of the Winter Queen, it also created another being or whatever. But then they're, they're not related. They were all created in the same way, though. <clears throat> Does that, it's like they're related in that, in in the same way that I might be considered to be related to people who were born in Victoria, kind of, do you know what I mean? Like it's, yeah, that's sort of related. Not, not like actually bonds and family and um, of each other and stuff. Yeah. Uh, uh, do you like that Sylvanas is good now? I don't think she's good now. I think she's an incredibly broken being uh, and I'm interested to see what happens to her at the conclusion of this expansion. Uh, I have a hope for her. I have a hope for how her story ends. I, I do. Uh, and we've spoken about it before, but um, but we'll see. I'm, yeah, I, she's not good. She's far from good. She'll never be good again. She can't be. Um, there is a part of her that is good, and she's finally got that part of her back, but that doesn't make her good. Not in the slightest. Uh, what happens after this? Yeah. <clears throat> I must confess, at first I thought Pelagros was making a horrible sacrifice, but now I see he was giving the Shadowlands all the hope and compassion he holds in his heart. We should go and see him. I will meet you there. Our Pelagos. <clears throat> After so long, he has ascended <laughs> higher than us all. <coughs> Dutiful Astrid. Okay, whew. Oh, uh, wait, I'm going to Arabos. Okay, I don't care. I'm just going to pull so bad. <laughs> but yeah, I think that the uh, Argus thing was just a- oh shit, that's right. We, we said dreadlords were linked, didn't we? Fuck, how can we fit demons in here? Shit, shit, shit. Ooh, Argus! Um, <laughs> and then we've spoken at length about how I feel about Pelagos. So yeah, it's- it's a- uh, you honor me with your It's an interesting interesting chapter. <clears throat> Speak more. <clears throat> May I visit with the arbiter? I will consider and tell Adrestes, I am sorry, I could not become an acolyte. Somehow, I think he will understand. Lawwalker! My friend, without you, I may never have found my path. Now I can direct the flow of souls to the afterlives they justly deserve. Yet one goal remains before us. To truly restore balance to the Shadowlands, the Jailer must be defeated. I have faith that the Maw Walker and their allies will succeed. Go in service, friends. Oribos and all the Shadowlands are counting on you. Yeah, this fits with my theory. Ah, uh, okay. <clears throat> what is on your mind? Elagos is right, but if anyone can accomplish what is needed, I believe it is you. Let's return to Zareth Mortis. You should report back to Bolvar and tell him of what we have Hi, accomplished. Hi, the sun well. <laughs> you did, Jas. you did. 
Back to Bolvar telling what we accomplished. We may have achieved this victory. There is still much to be done. Archon's wisdom prevails. <clears throat> Did Archimon when he popped up? Yeah, look. Um, should I complete the Shards of Domination quests? Um, I mean, sure. There's no harm in doing it. it. Depends on what you consider to be a point, I think, I see. Um, it is good for the storyline, like, if, if you are enjoying the storyline, or you just, even if you're not enjoying it, but you want to see what the gaps are and stuff, it's worthwhile doing that. Um, there's also some rewards and stuff that you get for your character. Not necessarily, you might not need the gear anymore, um, be getting the transmog is if that's something that you're interested in um if you are interested in like your completion score like your all the things thing or your, your data for azeroth ranking they'll count as quests towards your completion score and stuff like that there are loads of reasons why you would but there's there's also reasons why you wouldn't like if you don't care about any of those things and you don't have the or you don't have the time or whatever it's it's okay you won't like it won't break the game if you don't do them but there's still reasons to do them if you so desire Uh, is it needed to compare my character? No. Uh, so we're going to create a We're mostly sure at this point there's no relation at all, and they're not even technically connected. It's more like a close domain that they cover. It's it's like um when when someone refers to their like bestie as a as a sister maybe that kind of thing. Uh, hi the hi Trax. Thank you so much for the resub. Much appreciated. Much appreciated. Hi everyone's gonna need the that's not what I see talking about, Scarlet. They're asking about the sanctum, the sanctum of domination quests. Is that what it was? Let me just double check that. Oh, sorry, shards of domination. Um, should I complete the shards of domination quests, uh, or is there no point now? I believe you can skip 9.1's story and go straight to. So you can skip Corthia and go straight to Zerith Mortis. I believe. I haven't tried it myself, um, but yeah. They're not talking about ZM Scarlet, so. Sense of the sort of Queens of Night, yeah. Now equip your belt. There's the... that's, a, that's a whole thing. That's a whole thing. And now transmog the belt. <clears throat> Max hurt, yeah, my throat hurts. We all have a feeling. Actually, no, I changed that, didn't I? It's a daisy. I do feel good. That was still what I had. I did fantastic. Pretty sure the whole thing is in the bathroom. I don't know what the bathroom is in the rain. I know that it seems to go straight to both of them. Uh, but we're talking about going straight to Xerath Mortis, not Corthia. Corthia is 9 1. We're talking Xerath Mortis, which is 9 2. So many skips built in. There are. There's a lot. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you might have to do it on like one main character, but for your alts, it's okay. That gives you important context for the entirety of the Shadowlands, though, and plus it gives you renown. It's a really goddamn quick way to level up your renown once you buy the jump to 40, and then you go back and do the Covenant. Like, it's super freaking quick, and it gives you... It actually does give you essential information for the body expansion, so... Yeah. Um... Gives you like the the more gives you a level and a half though. Like goddamn, that's a lot of experience for like setting up the talky thing and then watching Netflix and then go oh talky and then watch Netflix and then oh talky and then watch Netflix. Like it's so quick for a level and a half of experience. It's ridiculous. But you know that's just my, my feelings. I will aid you as well. Ah, uh, a new arbiter has been established. This is excellent news, Fiyama, and a massive step to restoring balance to the Shadowlands. Your efforts here will not be forgotten. However, it is still only one step towards our goal. We must continue to strengthen our position in Xerath Mortis and drive the Jailer's forces out. 
our work continues, but with you on our side, victory is that much closer. Thank you. Much has been asked. More Done. Be required. How can I help? Duty calls. There is so much I want to ask you. I don't know where to start. When you grow up believing your father is a dead hero, everything is much more neat and tidy. When you learn he's quite alive, it's different. The man I was did die that day. The dragon's fire sealed my purpose. But couldn't you at least have let me know you were still there? Under that helm all that time? Would you have journeyed to Ice Crown if you knew? Yes, of course. I would have gone anywhere for you. Which is why you could not know. I had to make that sacrifice to keep you and the rest of the world safe from that place, from that power. But it wasn't just you who made that sacrifice. It was the rest of us, too. Everyone who loved you. I know. And for the pain it caused you, I will always feel sorrow. I pray that one day, you can forgive me for it. I'm glad that wasn't a clean... Oh, okay, I get it, Daddy. Like, I'm glad that there's still that raw emotion there and the... Obviously, I'm not glad that somebody feels resentment and, and all that kind of stuff, but it's it's real. It's, it's closer to what it would actually be. Oh, that'd be such a mindfuck. <clears throat> Really messy. I don't think Talia wants a hug yet, Shiva. I don't think Talia's ready for a hug. I think they'll get a hug when they're both when they're both ready. Yeah, but wasn't she raised Kulteran? So it makes sense. But but her like, you know how genetics works, right? And you know how accents work, right? That you look like your parents in terms of model, but that you sound like mostly where you were raised and, and a little bit like what your parents spoke like and all that kind of stuff, right? You know that that's how that works, right? Yeah. Something <laughs> got outbid, two million on it. Oh, I'm curious. Yeah, exactly. It's, that's, that's how she would sound, legitimately. I have cousins who were born here in Australia, but spent a lot of their formative years, like six or seven of their formative years in Ireland, and they all speak with an Irish accent. Because that's where they grew up. They still look like their parents, though. <laughs> Uh, no, it's absolutely no. My crush said, no worries, lucky like rest well. It's well. It's well. Fair. Achievements fair with me, of course. It's absolutely not how that works. Yes, it does. Yeah, 
kinda. It's just too clean. No, fair. I, I think Taylor is pretty badass, personally. But yeah, like that's they made the right choices with her voice and, and her model and stuff like that. I, I think that's appropriate given her her life circumstance, but I can understand it not sitting right with people, but it's there is there is a logical basis for it. Um scanning maps, of course. Of course. Alright, um I think I've done everything I can. I need to stop talking, so I'm gonna stop streaming. Um someone raid. Uh, I did say tonight was gonna be short. Um honestly I'm surprised we got to two and a quarter hours. Um if anyone is here and is curious why I'm finishing early or would like to know what's been going on with me this week, why there hasn't been any streams, uh, you can check approximately 13 minutes into the VOD. I give a bit of a blab about what's going on and how it's all happening and, and stuff like that. So you're very welcome to, um, to go and check that out if you so desire. Um, yeah. Okie dokie. <clears throat> uh, okay. Me. innocent and scared um I think I would be too if my entire basis for my life got ripped out from under me like as many rugs I'd like to think of myself as a pretty strong person but um I think that if I was raised on fact that one of my life givers dead and then all of a sudden I'm like wait dad yeah I think I'd be pretty messed up too um, and I think I'd revert to being a small child I'd get what needs to be done done but the time that it takes to process that and to go through all of those life experiences that I've had and reconcile that with the fact that I'd been lied to at that time regardless of by whom like regardless of who is doing the lying, it's that's a lot to process. Especially when the world is also ending. And by the way, we're travelling to the afterlife without being dead. Like, come on. She's dealing with a lot. <laughs> She's dealing with a lot. Um but, yep, correct. So I think she'll play a bigger role. Fingers crossed, eh Murray? Fingers crossed. and the can yeah right it's a lot I agree I agree and I'm gonna stop talking um I'm gonna do this and this oh we're gonna go say hi to Tom I don't often finish early enough to raid Tom I like Tom it's fun uh, so we're gonna go say hi to Tom she who's currently playing Super Mario Odyssey he is a speedrunner and he's very entertaining very entertaining. Um, so we're gonna go say hi. I hope you'll come with me. Grab your copy paste. If you don't have the Fiamma hype emote, either because you are not subscribed or because you haven't unlocked it with your channel points, either which is totally fine. Uh, you can still copy paste the whole message, delete Fiamma hype, and put in your favorite happy, happy celebratory emote and drop it into Tom's channel when we get there. I'm gonna see you on Sunday for Chef Squad. We will see how long I last on Sunday with all the talking. Hopefully, I'll be feeling better. Um, yeah, take care of yourselves. Nice to each other. I'll see you then. Bye. Uh, where's the button?